Yo, do you want to learn how to get the best optimized settings for Streamlabs OBS on a Mac when you're streaming to Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook? So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Let's get to it. What is going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. Yes, so in today's quick tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to get the best optimized settings for using Streamlabs OBS on a Mac, so that way you can stream on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming with the perfect settings, and you don't have to worry about lag, delays, or nothing like that. So stay tuned. If you're new here, like this type of video, subscribe if you're new. We're on our way to 2,000 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button, and let's get into this tutorial. When you open up Streamlabs OBS to get your best optimized settings so you can stream on twitch youtube or facebook gaming perfectly so what i did was these are the, i'm gonna show you my settings what was best for me but for you you can do the same steps you're just gonna have to adjust accordingly so whatever stream labs recommend and then make a few adjustments so first things first if you want to run a speed test you can always run go to internetspeedtest.com and do a speed test real quick or you can download an app from the app store like this run your first speed test that way you know everything's going. Make sure you are playing wired connection. Woo, look at them speeds though. But yeah, make sure you are playing wired connection for a better optimized uh, internet performance. You don't want to play over Wi-Fi because it does give you problems. I don't know why my internet is like that. I'm supposed to be at a thousand upload and a thousand download. But right now we're just going to do what it is probably because I'm screen recording. So, so the find the best optimized settings to use for Streamlabs OBS on a Mac. What you're going to do is when you open it up, you want to hit start. I mean, go to settings. When you get to this page right here, the general is going to be right here on the first page where it says right next to configure the default devices, auto um, optimize and OBS import. So you want to click on auto optimize. So Streamlabs is going to, when you click on this, it's going to, it's going to optimize the best settings that you can use for Streamlabs OBS, and then you're going to make a few adjustments accordingly. So you hit start, let it optimize, go through what it's doing, checking the bandwidth, the speed, everything else. So now Streamlabs right now is figuring out the best settings you should run while using your Streamlabs. It's, it's basically going through your, your Mac or your iMac telling you, okay, this is a good performance I recommend you know, what you're using. So after it's done and doing that, you want to go back to hitting settings. So it auto optimize, hit settings. Make sure everything else down here is cool. You want to go back to stream. Make sure you're signing to whatever one you are using. Your output. So now it's going to set everything to simple. So what you want to do is um, hit advance. You see my video bit rate is already at 6,000. If you want to use simple, fine. But you want you get more settings of, of features when you use advanced mode. So use advanced. It set me up to 6,000 for Twitch, hardware, keyframes, mains, two, my recording. Set that. Sometimes if it doesn't, you just want to go to whatever it sets your bit rate to. So say if it sets your bit rate to um, 4,000 or something like that. And you're just, for instance, what I did for mine to get 24,000 for recording and using the hardware encoder also. So I can go through on there, put that. See, so still using the hardware encoder, 24,000 two and then main so how i got that was i just did six times four so you want you can do four times for just for recording purposes so you can record at a higher bit rate so if they set yours at four thousand you want to set your recording at sixteen thousand but it all depends on what your settings they have set it to what they best recognize for your mac or imac or whether you're using on streamlabs obs and remember keep in mind i am using the hd 60s plus so more better if you're using the HD60, you got to deal with that NDI source and that OBS link that only works on Catalina and and macOS Mojave on Big Sur and M1 Max that does not work. So I optimize you get the HD60s plus. But after you set up those settings right there, I can go back and show you my streaming streaming 6,000. So this is what I run. I'm gonna go to my audio. You know everything else is just still here. They're the same video this is what it put me at so for me playing on ps4 i've been putting it at this just just to test it out it ran smooth now if i really want to get a little more performance out my uh macbook pro i can go here and set it to 1920 1080 you know just make adjustments accordingly and then you'll at least know what settings should be good for you but you just make sure you test out everything so that when you're streaming and everything else is not lagging and going back from there so I can't run it at that. 
Going from there, everything else is good. Once you get that all situated and done, do a quarter minute adjustments to what you are able to run. And hey, you know, that would ever be able to help your Streamlabs OBS run sufficiently. So right now you can see I have two little notifications right here. We'll click that and it says, you know, lag frames detected over. That's just because I'm screen recording. Without screen recording, you see my CPU has dropped sufficiently. And, you know, FES is going down. Look, I'm over here at 11, 16. It's just changing. That's because I'm screen recording. Without the screen recording, I was just doing some game plays right now. I, can show, uh, I was doing that, and I was running 68 FES fine. CPU was down lower than this. I think my CPU was like at 3 or 4, but that's just because of screen recording, and that puts a lot of performance on the CPU usage. So that's the reason why you see that. Yeah, I just remember. I forgot to add an outro to this video. So if you did enjoy this video, like this video, subscribe if you're new. That is the best way you can find the best optimized settings for using Streamlabs OBS on the Mac, whether you're going to stream to Facebook Gaming, Twitch, or YouTube. So other than that, but if you did enjoy this video, like this video, subscribe if you're new. We're on our way to 2,000 subscribers. Woo! Let's go. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. God bless everybody. Take care. Peace.